Hey guys, welcome all of you on Depth of Science. Scientist says that a pink print of light in an image captured by the Hubble Space Telescope is the most distant individual star ever seen that is not a supernova. The team behind the find say the light was emitted from the star dubbed Icarus but officially named Max J1149 plus 2223 Lanced Star 1 when it was more than 9 billion light years from the Earth, Icarus is now much further away but will have died, forming either a black hole or a neutron star. We are looking back three quarters of the way almost to the Big Bang, said Dr. Patrick Kelly, first author of the research from the University of Minnesota. Stars at such distance are normally too faint to be identified individually unless they explode in a supernova, but it seems a chance alignment of heavens made Icarus visible. It is more than 100 times further away than the next most distant individual star we can observe, said Kelly. Writing in the journal Nature Astronomy, an international team of researchers revealed how their curiosity was piqued in 2016. The team were studying a supernova known as SN Refusidal in a galaxy more than 9 billion light years away. When they noticed a pink print of light that appeared four times brighter than in a previous image, this seemed to come from an object in the same galaxy as the supernova and appear in the environs of a well known galaxy cluster that lay just over 5 billion light years from the Earth. As we monitor the cluster due to SN refusal, we obtained imaging of a cluster regularly and we saw the Icarus region brightening up, said Dr. Mathil Jagdwak, another author of the study from Durham University. The SPAC team determined was down of a star whose pattern had been magnified by a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, whereby lightning emitted by the star is bent by the gravitational effect of the object in front of it in the case of galaxy cluster. The increase in brightness of Icarus, the researchers say, is due to an additional magnification boost from a star within the galaxy cluster. Usually, the stars by about 600 times that is just due to the cluster itself but sometimes a star kind of floating in the middle of a cluster will also get in the right place and that will contribute additional magnification said Kelly that is what was responsible for the brightening of Icarus by a factor of 4. The upshot says Kelly is that overall Icarus was magnified more than 2000 times. Analysis of light emitted by the star revealed it to be a blue supergiant, a rare type of a star that is larger than the sun and far more luminous. A well known example is that star known as Regal in the constellation of Orinon. The work also allowed the team to test one theory regarding the possible nature of dark matter, which suggested it could be made of black holes. If that were the case, these objects within the cluster galaxy would also be expected to boost the practice of Icarus. However, looking back on Hubble images over more than a decade, the team found the practice of Icarus did not vary in a way that would be expected if the dark matter in the cluster of galaxy was made of black holes. The light fluctuation that we have observed do not agree with the prediction from such theory, said Jokjak. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you still not subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Till then, be scientific, be imaginary and be curious. Goodbye guys.